Janet and John go on a steam train. Today, Janet and John are going to have a ride on a steam train. Johnny's very excited. See John put on his puce, Versace overalls and leather cap. While Janet is driving to the station, John is bouncing up and down in his seat, making train noises. Can you make train noises? Well, neither can John. No, I can't. At the train station, <laughs> Janet goes to get a cup of tea and some tizer for John. There are other soft drinks available, of course. John sees Mrs. Bickerdyke. Hey up, fluffy whiskers, says Mrs. Dyke. Mrs. Bickerdyke is from Yorkshire. See Geoffrey Boycott. Mrs. Bickerdyke says, Are you driving the train today then, Johnny? And John shakes his head. Well, let's have a word with the driver. I used to fettle his throckle through great when he were a lad. See John look confused. See Mrs. Bickerdyke talking to the train driver. I've sorted it so you can ride with the driver. Thank you, Mrs. Bickerdyke, says John. Soon Janet comes back with the drinks. John quickly gulps his down and tells Janet he's going to ride with the driver. In that case, says Janet, I'll stay here in the craft shop. Sensible Janet. See John climb up next to the train driver. Mr. Moncrief, the driver, says, We have another helper today. This is Mrs. Perkins from the post office. See John smile. Soon it is time to start the train. See John and Mrs. Perkins shovel coal into the engine. See the hot flames and the steam. Mrs. Perkins soon has to take off her cardigan. Mr. Moncrief stops the train to pick up another carriage and shows John and Mrs. Perkins how to attach it to the train. Mr. Moncrief lets Mrs. Perkins sound the whistle three times as they go into a tunnel. What fun! <laughs> See John taking photographs with Mrs. Perkins' camera. Soon the train journey is over. John thanks Mr. Moncrief and jumps down from the train to find Janet. He sees her buying a croquet set. Do you know how to play croquet? Janet does. Hello, Janet, says John. I've had a lovely time on the train. Did you? says Janet. Yes, it's, it got ever so hot, so Mrs. Perkins had to take off some clothes. We worked up quite a head of steam between us, so Mr. Moncrief watched us when we pulled into the sidings and practiced coupling. And then I took some photographs when Mrs. Perkins pulled his whistle three times on the way home. <laughs> See Janet staple John to the lawn with croquet hoops. Do you know what a powerful backswing is? Janet does. Uh-oh. Poor John.